All right, and welcome back to Perils of the Warp. Episode 8. My name is Roman, and to my left I have... I'm, I'm left. Yes. I'm left. Guys. Why did you look directly? I'm like right across from him. <laughs> I looked directly at you. And I looked at Mark. <laughs> Mark's catty corner from Roman. But I'm to the left, and I'm done. I'm Mark, I suppose. <laughs> and we have a special guest. You know, uh, I think it's a mistake that I'm here. I think so too, but we're and gonna I get through it. And I regret it already. Yeah. I'm Tony. Yeah. The tech guy. Well, your parents were good at having you, and that's why they gave you up at birth. Dang. <laughs> Fucking resident <laughs> orphan, orphan, orphan. I, I do it for all these big names. Like, like in the city <laughs> podcast, we don't, we don't resident do Resident orphan. Forever. That was. That was, that was a was, for a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I didn't remember that. That was Eric's thing on City. Which he used to call him Resident Orphan Tony, so I used to call him Rot. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, he could, the guys called me the tech guy, and all I just wanted to be called was Grim. I was like, someone... someone <laughs> That's someone not happening. Never, not, never not happen. That is not happening. I wanted to be Grim from Grimworks, but no, none of you motherfuckers want to make that happen. Nope. So, okay. You can't make Fetch happen, Tony. Yeah. yeah can't. You can't make Grim happen. You can't give yourself your own nickname. Yeah. I know, like, that's why I was waiting for one of you to do it, but no. <laughs> Fuck no, right? No. <laughs> I got it. You can be Chaplain Fattus Labius. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fat pussy? <laughs> yeah, you're just one big fat pussy. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hey, hey, it's not your fucking show. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't try to steal the spotlight. I just didn't want to get me fun of them. Whatever, more. right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, that's, so. that's actually not bad. I like that. I'm yeah. Rock from Grimworks. Yeah, Resident Orphan Tony. You don't have to know that. Yeah. All right. So I'll just say Resident Orphan Tony. Got it. Damn it. All right. So Resident Orphan Tony. So I'll be honest with you. Over this past month, haven't done anything Warhammer related. To be honest with you. Until today. Uh, Until today, which I did a lot. And hopefully you'll see that in a few days. But when it comes down to it, I've been balls deep in video games for what seems like two or three months now. I have to stop that. I realize this, and because of this, there was actually some news that I missed. John, you want to take over from here? Well, before you get to the news, mm-hmm. see, I find that interesting. That you get, like, it's harder to Warhammer than fucking video games. Because mm-hmm. you guys have been wanting me to play Warhammer with you guys for a while. Yes. You and guys go out to all these shops, and mm-hmm. you guys watch the hobbies, and you guys like building and painting, so mm-hmm. that is Warhammer. I don't like doing none of that. Mm-hmm. Building fucking hurts my hands because... I'm fat. Mm-hmm. And the fingers are really small. Mm-hmm. And building and, and painting and building, that's not a thing, dude. I don't have the patience for painting. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the concept of Warhammer. Mm-hmm. I like the whole... Tabletop. Gotta, yeah, yeah. You, you, you gotta kill the other army with your army. Mm-hmm. Which is the better army. Yeah. And you have the different kinds of armies. Mm-hmm. But the whole be like, let's go and hobby it up. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, I'd rather just sit down and play a fighting game. <laughs> I remember you were telling me that you were trying to make hobby yeah. a thing, John. <laughs> but you can't make fetch happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I understand that. I understand mm-hmm. that, okay, video games, it's easier. Yeah, it's just easier. And to uh, be honest with you, for the longest time, my room, my painting uh, table, well, much like the table that we're on right now, it's just a, a regular fold-out white table, was... Available legit, at your local Walmart. Available pretty much anywhere. But the thing was, it was just fucking had everything that I didn't like want on the floor on there and I finally actually started cleaning it up. So I actually cleaned it up. I actually washed all my paint brushes because I didn't even do oh, that. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, luckily they weren't damaged. I just was able to wet them down a bit, use my um what is it? It's that brush cleaner that comes in that little small canister. And just okay. use that bitch. It's also a conditioner. So mm. just uh, clean those up. Make sure I got all the paint out of there. I need to borrow that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have it with me right now. Sweet. Um, but. See, that, that's the thing, though. For Warhammer, you have to have a space to paint. Yes. And, and you have a space where no one needs to touch your shit. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't have the liberty of that. Yeah. And then you have to have specific tables to play on. Like, me, yes. and, John, me and John have tried having a quick game so I could get used to the, the rules and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And we we're just playing across each other, and mm-hmm. it was hella fun. Yeah. But without the whole terrain and mm-hmm. the whole big table, mm-hmm. it's just hard to Warhammer. I it it is very involved. Uh, there's no part of this uh, of Warhammer that is not like an involved kind of process. And as so. a new dude, it was a lot. 
It's a lot it, you have to do before you even get to play a game. Yeah, it's a lot to, well, to, to take in, yeah. Even sure. at that, even if you want to play games, there's other different types of games you can play. You don't have to necessarily play the big games. They have kill teams, and that's you could just pay, take a little s- small squad of people. Mm-hmm. You don't need that much room. No, no, you do not. It's, no, uh, it's four by four. Yeah, yeah. four by four. You can so, do it even smaller than that. Something. Yeah, yeah. you can even there's do There's a little, little something for everybody. And speaking of uh, other something for everybody, there's that new... AOS game that we were wanted to talk about. Shade Spire. Oh, the news that John yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. Spit out, John. Part of my news. Um, so, Shade Spire came out with nine models, four Stormcast Eternals, and five uh, Corn Blood Reavers. Mm-hmm. And these are all new models. They have not been printed before. They were made specifically for this game. So mm-hmm. they're brand new scopes. Really, really nice looking scopes. Yeah. The, and, the, uh, fantasy, the fantasy marines... Kind of look like the same regular fantasy marines, besides the one dude without his helmet. Yeah, <laughs> they got a fucking captain without his helmet. Yeah, you know, huh? just like he's real. I was telling Roman, he looks super pretty. Yeah, <laughs> he's really pretty. He's real. He full. He's, 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 he's yeah. real full for me. Yeah, he has like really nice hair too. Even Actually, it's just a bob. honestly. That could be a pretty good uh, Fulgur model. If you do some little kit bashing, it could probably Ooh. be a really good Fulgur model. And what's the other side? You said corn? Uh, yeah. The, That's the red corn dudes? Corn butter. Yeah, the red dudes. All right. Um, and is this for not the 40k? No, this is for fantasy. Basically fantasy. It's called Age of Sigmar now. Mm. So what's 30k? 30k is the 10,000 years before 40k. It's basically like the old edition of uh, 40k, the 7th edition. Oh, so, the yeah, so it's oh, okay. the old rules uh, as of for right now. Mm-hmm. Um, they are going to update them, but it's just going to take a long time. But the thing is, that's all Forge World, which is like a sister company to uh, Games Workshop. And the whole thing is, it's you think uh, 40K is expensive? 30K is ridiculously expensive because everything is resin. It's a different type of uh, like... Building material. But yeah, 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 like yeah. the the models are way different. Really, really cool. They have some fucking beautiful models that I want. So it just sounds like 30k is everybody who had something against the 40k rules, because it look, it looked like uh, Warhammer's trying to be well, more initially, friendly to initially. Um, 40k had been around uh, for 20 plus years. It was a real stagnant storyline. So I guess they just like well, since we're not gonna push the story forward. Let's go backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, Primarchs, which are just starting to come up for 40K, had, hadn't been around in the entire almost 30 years that this game's been mm-hmm. around. The, the stories were there. The books were there. The, the amazing stories of these Primarchs and what they what they accomplished with mm-hmm. just their bare hands um, were there, and there was no way for you to put them on the battlefield. So, basically... So, Games Workshop kind of got smart. Like, how do we take more money from them? It was, you know what well, they it, was, it was Forge World, which... Um, oh, Forge World. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. basically, Forge World was just like, hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole, <laughs> the whole thing with it is, um, it's basically like a historical game. Like, oh, okay. you, you can think of it that way because... Like what happened in the past battles. And exactly. Stuff like because a lot of people that actually play 30K are very, very fluff heavy. Like, very lore heavy. Yeah, yeah. with 40K, you're trying to, like, just... A, you're, you're just trying to win. In 40K, you're trying to win. In 30K, you're doing nothing but... Uh, historic battles that have come out in the book. The way mm-hmm. I see it is 40k is for the new people that come trying to get into the game mm-hmm. with some veterans. Yeah. 30k seems very heavy. Like, yes. Oh man, we don't like what they did with 40k. We don't mm-hmm. like the rule changes. V- very few people that get into Warhammer specifically, like 40k, yeah. Yeah. are like, yeah, I'm just going to go to 30k instead. And they're like, guess what? We're veterans. We know how to build. We know mm-hmm. the, the value of pretty pieces. Yep. Yeah. And we don't want to play with the new guys because, you know, they all suck. Yeah. <laughs> So but, they they made this thirty k and that's what it sounds like mm-hmm. and they just didn't work just for the people that like you know elves and skeletons and shit yeah well a lot of people were pissed when AOS first came out because they that what they did was they literally like uh destroyed that whole l- universe and the lore behind it all like, the rule books that had ever been out they're just like, like the fantasy awesome stuff yeah all the nice. all the rules all of the lore like every like battle that they had was pretty much wiped away and they were like this is a fresh start this is age of sigmar it literally is sigmar's army the the guys that are all in armor that i use mm-hmm. that they're per, they're that army um the stormcast eternals the whole thing is a lot of people were pissed when aos first came out because they were like hey there's no points you can use whatever you want does not matter here it is super simplified sounds like a free world exactly and it sucked nobody liked it like it suffered so bad 
They were like, the models are super nice. After that, the rules are shit. A and lot of new, really nice models came out with, uh, with Age of Sigmar. So yeah. did they fix it? Eventually, yeah, yes. They, yeah, they did eventually fix it once they realized how much of their fan base they lost. And yeah. the stuff that just came out that you were talking about. Shades this, yeah. this is that, This is yeah. actually its own thing. What I've heard so far was just that... It's, uh, it's, it's a fluff thing. Yeah. Basically, Nagash trapped these people in a mirror dimension. Mm -hmm. Um... And uh, it's a race to try to get out before the portal closes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that concept. Magash. Magash. Actually, there's a... King of the Undead. Magash. There's a gentleman named uh, Mike Blanton who is running uh, Age of Sigmar um, Saturdays, I believe, over at Southbound Games. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, because uh, I've been asking him a lot of questions about Age of Sigmar because you know, we're trying to get into it. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me that... Uh, that Warhammer Fantasy had actually put out a five book series at 80 bucks a pop. And he bought all five books, and a month after the fifth book came out, that's when they announced Age of uh, Sigmar. And so the five books he just bought at 80 bucks a pop were useless. They were paper weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. So what else came on use? Uh, well, um, basically, this, it's, this game is the first thing. Hmm. Um, they're going to have, they're going to have expansions. They're going to make yeah, everybody gonna else. Yeah, expansions. Are you guys going to be playing it? Uh, yes. I do, just because a starter box is like 60 bucks. Yeah. And it's, it's two, it's a two player starter box. Oh, so you it's, guys get both of the games. Yeah, both yeah, of us get, get an army. And Stormcast for 60 and Scorn Blood Reavers are exactly the it's two a, that we're playing. It's a miniature and a card game. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you're, okay. you, have, you have different sets of cards and those cards are actually, uh, making the story go along. So it's never just the same four guys against the same five guys. I'm always going to have different weapons, different abilities, depending on what cards I have on my side of the So it's like Paragon? Yes. Okay. Sort of. <laughs> All right, now I see what you want to play. But, but Paragon is my shit, and that's what's been pulling me away from 40k, so I can't talk about so that. So you, know, yeah. you know what? They, they heard you be like, we want Roland back, and then yeah. own Paragon for I, tabletop, and there you go. I, my, my whole thing is, like, I hope there's actual card expansions. That would be really cool. Of course, because like, these companies always want your money. Uh, yes, but like, okay, you can play every army, blah, blah, blah. But what I want is uh, for them to have like kind of uh, like the living card game style. Like the Lord of the Rings game that I played. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah different quests. For yeah. Okay. yeah, so like not even different quests, just like in one set you have a fixed amount of cards and every faction has at least two or three more cards to kind of change up the game, how it plays. I think that would be really cool. That's actually going to happen. I don't know. Will but there is going to be a little expansion. I'm interested. I'm just looking at it. I had no idea what it was, so mm -hmm. I was trying to find out more about it. So I guess I'm showing some interest in it. But yeah. as of right now, I'm still trying to work on it. And they dangled that bait. Motion. And, uh, and he's circling the waters. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm there. As, of, as of this Saturday that we just passed, the 20, the 19th, 18th, 17th, whatever, I don't know what it is. Yeah. As yeah, of this I. Saturday, the War Scrolls for the uh, nine models that came out, are available to actually play them in regular Age of Sigmar. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so yeah. the models so, you do, the sixty bucks you spend can be used for your Age of Sigmar stuff. They yeah, not can. yet, but now, no. Oh, can. okay, and, that's uh, pretty cool. And, and that's all. That's a really good move, to be honest with you. Like I'm buying these models, and I can only really use them here. Uh, so it's good that you can kind of cross play. I with have that. a question for that. Mm. Um, I've been I joined the Red Star Facebook group and yes. some Warhammer groups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Blood Bowl, the, the, right? That's that football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Warhammer. Mm -hmm. Can you use those models for, no. for no. anything else? No. no, that'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. they, like, basically yeah, football these, army, yeah, like these models have football pads. Yeah, and yeah that'd like be that. fucking awesome if I could do that. Like, you have like a fucking football team fantasy. I mean, that's what Blood Bowl is. <laughs> yeah, but you can't you can't play AJ Sigmar with it, right? No, not really. I mean, but the. I guess you can just clarify, like, uh, like if you're playing, like, uh, Skaven, you can just say, like, oh, like, this little group is a special group of uh, clan rats or something. And you can just have them, like, do that. Mm -hmm. oh. But that's only in friendly games. You can't go to a tournament and do that. Oh, okay. like, a lot of tournaments will not let you use those type of models. They'll let you use... Uh, it depends on, on the actual tournament, though. So depends the new stuff, yeah. yes. The Blood Bowl mm -hmm. stuff, no. No. All right, mm -hmm. cool. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the big news. If you do want to know more about Shadespire on the Warhammer TV uh, YouTube channel, I think, um, they have, like, a th I think it's 30 minutes. So it is a bit of a sit-through. But it's a whole tutorial on how to play Shadespire. Is that that that's British true. dude that does painting? No, but it is another Br British dude that sounds like the guy that 
that the Lord you of do. the Rings does one. Does he say scenario? He does say scenario. Scenario. In this scenario. Alright, um, guys. Um, before my phone dies, because mm-hmm. I don't charge shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, because you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My uh, my next bit of news or information is the top five armies from the SoCal mm-hmm. uh, Open that mm-hmm. just happened. Um, so I just want to walk. Uh, the Opens are the big tournaments. Yeah, yeah. big tournaments. Ooh. So um, first place was a uh, um, basically a Scion Tempestus uh, Astromo's Arm Army. Is this 40k? Uh, yeah, this is 40k. Okay. He had uh, five Torox Primes, all of them with uh, Torox Gatling Cannons. Um, he had two Primaris Psychers, uh, Tempestor Prime, uh, three units of Scions, and then in another detachment, um, that was a Battalion Detachment, and mm-hmm. another Battalion Detachment, he had two Primaris Psychers, so he's just throwing out a lot of fucking Smites. Uh, smite. Mm-hmm. Um, he had uh, three astral powers, so more smite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The smites are the stuff I use for my Harlequins. Yeah, it's just a spell. It's a basic spell that everybody that knows magic oh, okay. knows. It just like kills mm-hmm. a, a piece by piece, right? Yeah, yeah it, it, sh- it uh, shoots out mortal wounds. Ooh, I like that. Be like, haha, you are dead. He had uh, Saint Celestine to give all his uh, little humans a six up uh, invulnerable save. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, he had a commissar, two Calexus assassins. Uh, Mighty conscripts, it looks like a bunch of heavy weapons teams, mm-hmm. and uh, five more primary psychers. And that's the guy who won first place. That's the guy who came in first place. So, for tournaments, what's the point range? Uh, 2000 points. Oh, okay, so yeah. this guy was running a asshole list that we like to call the character list. Um, the way the character rule works is you can't target an enemy character if there's another uh, unit. In front of it, you have you have to take out the units before you take out the characters. Unless so you, unless you have a certain weapon yeah, that like specifies a sniper so like he sniper puts out a bunch of minions, minions before you get to his big guys. Yeah. No, he puts out a bunch of a bunch of uh, characters, but with only two or three in front. And characters have multiple wounds, and he has different ways of saving their lives. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, he, it's more like kill and save. Yeah, it's more like I'm throwing out two characters, and you can only touch those two characters. Meanwhile, my other thirty characters. Are gonna tear your entire army apart with their so psychic they're, powers. So they're a whole bunch of big, big dudes. Mm-hmm. Well, not big, like, th- like decent. Dudes. Yeah. Well, primary psychers, they're they're just regular humans. They're like twenty points a model, thirty points a model. But they have more than one. Yeah, and he was. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't take count, but he probably had what about ten or fifteen of what I counted. Five, six, seven, eight. He had eight primary psychers, three astro pass, which are also psychers. Um, so he was just so he's just throwing a whole bunch of magic. So you can yeah. you just shoot out like eleven smites each turn, which then, is depending on what you actually roll. It's uh, what D three D three or D six. So uh, high enough, but average uh, about eleven psychers causing D three mortal wounds. He can put out up to up to thirty three mortal wounds that cannot be saved unless you're playing like uh, Death Guard mortal, or something. Yeah. Um, but 33 mortal wounds to anything is fucked up. And that's on the high end. He probably got, if he's even doing average, it's like 15 to 16 mortal wounds. And that can take out almost yeah. anything. That sounds like fun. Yeah. And then he had, That's ni- all this he, had he had 90 fucking troops backed yeah. up by somebody giving them a 6 up and vulnerable save. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. It, it seems like hordes are doing yeah. really well. I mean, yeah. ever since that's, the Imperial yeah. Guard came out, the, people... The metal right now pissed. is horde yeah. character. Horde mm-hmm. character. So, horde Imperial character. Guards... Tyranids, it orcs. Almost, it almost sounds like how you taught me how to play Necrons. Just make sure they stay alive so you can keep doing yeah. that shit and mm-hmm. just make, throwing out your big dudes in the I bag. Mean, Necrons are good right now. When they get their codex, they're going to be so much better. Mm, can't wait for that. I'll we'll put another piece of whatever the fuck I don't know. They could suck like the uh, the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus like we talked about last time. Oh, episode. yeah. They didn't get shit. So they, well, could get, I mean, they could get fucked. <laughs> I mean, that's not really a horde army, though. They, yeah, they yeah. gave them... They gave them Horde Army stats, mm-hmm. but then they, you have to pay, like, more yeah. points. And that's the whole thing with Necrons. You never know. They could be fucking... What? What is, like, an infantry for an Imperial Army? Is, like, maybe three points or some shit like that? Yeah. Yeah. Three points. And then, scripts. yeah, for a regular troop for, like, Skatari, like a Ranger, is like, seven. Shit. <laughs> See? Yeah. And yeah. then they could take a lot of extra war gear, which you mm-hmm. want to take, because it's a shooty army. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the war gear is more expensive than, like... <laughs> I mean, you're looking at 17 points for a fucking plasma gun. Yep. Fair so, uh, I'm hoping Necrons get something big like everybody else has been getting. I don't know. Like fuck Necrons, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. Cool. Fuck <laughs> Necrons. So, uh, this, this list interested me a lot. This is second place. It's Alpha Legion. Okay. And it's five units of obliterators. 
That's it? that. No, that's not it. That's oh. just that's the bread and butter. Okay. You got five <laughs> units of guys who are throwing out a high velocity of weapons. They're assault weapons too, so they can advance and shoot and, stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're throwing out a really high volley. Um, they are minus one AP at their uh, minimum, mm -hmm. uh, minus three at their maximum. It's it's random. Mm -hmm. Um, and then because of the Alpha Legion, Alpha Legion special rule, you can't, uh, you have to subtract one when you're shooting at them. Okay. Okay, so Obliterators, um, you got a, a battalion detachment with the Changeling, the Herald of Nurgle, and three units of Nurglings. Mm -hmm. And then you have a battalion detachment with the Sorcerer, an Exalted Champion, and uh, 40 Cultists with the Mark of Slanesh. Uh, the Obliterators have the Mark of uh, Slanesh and the Mark of Zinch. Um, different, you know, different marks mm -hmm. for different mm -hmm. units, and he also had a fifteen uh, man unit of uh, corn berserkers. So this list was demons. This list was a uh, chaos space marines with a lot of demons. Sounds like something you would play, John. Yeah, I mean it's very interesting. There's a high, uh, there's a really high um, firepower here, but there's also a really good close combat. Are any of these matches recorded? So you could um, I don't know if they're recorded. I'd have to look yeah, we'd have to maybe look on YouTube. I don't know. Um, the actual um, streaming for Warhammer is very, there's very, very little out there. Yeah. Um, at least for streaming for tournaments. If you're looking for just videos in bat terms of, shit. yeah, bat reps, just people just playing, um, then yeah, you can find tons of this. What, what I figured about Warhammer is mm -hmm. that, sure, the pieces matter. But it's how you play them that's mm -hmm. really important. Yeah. Like, John could probably have three-fourths of that list. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to play them like he did to get second place. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. That's what's uh, cool about Warhammer. It's just like, of course, there's going to be things. There's nothing that's, like, super balanced. You know, there's always going to be something that's overpowered. But it's really, you can overcome that by your actual tactics. Um, that's why I like it. That's why it's kind of more related to like fighting games, mm -hmm. where it's a it's a it's like a little bit of a meta game. It's yeah. like a little bit of Yomi. You have to like out uh, the whole footsie stuff. Exactly, yeah. you have to kind of put things at a certain angle that will help you out. Putting them, uh, not deploying them all the way out is like another thing, and then it just depends on the army that you're really rocking. This one, this one made me laugh. Is it um, Archangels? It's Grey Knights. Hmm. It's called a Grey Knight army. But it's actually, no Grey Knights. It's actually five Grandmasters, and everybody in Grey Knights is a Psyker, so that's five different uh, Smites. <laughs> they all have Gatling Silencers, which is the most Corolla. powerful gun in that uh, codex, and they all have great swords. Um, and so that's a Supreme Command Detachment. That's nothing but HQs. So five to six HQs, by the looks like. And then the rest of it is just uh, Kadian. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six infantry squads. Um, Commissar Yarrick, two Tempester Primes, uh, a couple of Scout Sentinels, and one, two, three, four, five Heavy Weapon Squads. Everybody has Modars, so the Heavy Weapon Squads have three Modars apiece, and each of the six Troop Trusses have a Modar apiece, which is a lot of fucking dice. Each Modar does D6 dice uh, worth of Ooh. attacks. So that is three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 21 dice that you get to roll, you add all of those numbers together, and that's how many shots is being output each turn. Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> it, bullets everywhere? It's bullets with a few uh, gray knights <laughs> throwing out smite. with. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Like, uh, th this, like, all these lists are just, like, iterating that I am not a tournament player, like, whatsoever. <laughs> I don't want to play tournaments because I don't, this, it, that doesn't seem interesting to me. Like, just having, like, Super overpowered shit has never been my thing, ever. And that's probably why I suck, to be honest with you. But I'd rather play just the game that I want to play. Like, I want to have, You'd like... you rather play the pieces you like. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's why 30k for me is such a big draw. Like, I'd love to play 30k. Because it's, it's just, just heavy fluff. Because it's just super heavy fluff. But the thing is, it's so expensive right now that there's really yeah. no way for me to get into it. And then with the 7th edition rules... Now playing 8th edition, I don't want to go back to 7th edition. I think edition. going into 8th edition, um, I mean, the fucking tournament, peop term tournament people are just going to go and take advantage of it. When 8th mm -hmm. edition first came out for like a really big, what the fuck was it? It was like an intercontinental tournament or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh. did, they, did they have a belt? Did they have a white belt? I wish they did. A white championship belt like the WWE? Yeah. Everybody was just like, the Storm Ravens? Yeah, that's all it was. It was just nothing but planes. It was Storm Ravens, Storm Talons. Just, it was objective stuff. So eventually, over time, fucking Games Workshop was like, okay, we need to fix shit. Because yeah. it's not, this is not interesting to watch and it wouldn't get people interested to play. Mm-hmm. Like, if people are going to fucking bring planes, like five or six different planes in mm-hmm. each, if that's what everyone has, it's just yeah. in different colors, this isn't fun. The tournaments is it cash prize? Is it yeah, yeah, yeah for any tournament? Yeah, they're cash like prize, and then there's actual toy prizes. You know what? That I want. I want that street army. Just mm-hmm. I'm a tournament player. I yeah. like the competitive yeah. things. That's fine. I want to see it. I want to be he, like he can't take this. Down. That's fine, but try. you're not gonna be on the next episode. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I, I could see in the glory of earning the money, earning yeah. the first place, mm-hmm. and be like. I'm better than all of you, mm-hmm. kind of thing. That's why I like playing games. To be honest, mm-hmm. to be like, I want up someone. Mm-hmm. And I have a very the, here's the thing. I have a very uh, I have a very low uh, version of that. I just want to be better than my friends, and I don't care about anything else. Yeah, right. yeah. I but, just I just want to be better. That I know I can beat John. I can beat you. I can beat Eric. That was Mark. It's like, it's, that's fun, it. it's it's fun because I mean we were doing that with Hero Clicks. Like, exactly. Just, just beating Eric and <laughs> seeing him get so salty. Exactly. Like Eric just, loses, we all win. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He's like, oh, I'm gonna bring Dark Side. Uh-huh. Just like, oh, well, I'm gonna fucking whoop Dark Side's ass. All right, we're gonna form an alliance. Make sure you get out, man. I don't care who wins. Remember, after that. it was like that. It was that one time where <laughs> we were all playing, and he had that knoll from the Fear itself. Yeah. Where I was talking to Nate, and I was like, Nate. Promise me that you'll give me a re-roll chance if I fail this. Uh-huh. And Nate's like, all right, well, he didn't ask, what am, what am I going to use it for? And uh-huh. I'm like, just, just whatever, just, I need it. When I ask for it, give uh-huh. it to me. Uh-huh. And he's like, all right. And I fucking threw, threw that fucking dove up there, like a <laughs> shitty common piece. <laughs> yeah. And then you hit him, and what dove has is it takes their attack hits, like whatever their clicks of damage. I think it was like five, because mm-hmm. it was null. And it does exploit weakness, so it bypasses everything. So you would automatically hit no for like six pieces. I missed the first time. It was a long shot. It was like a, what was it? An eight attack to his 19, to 19 18 defense. So I needed yeah. to roll like five, six, or six, six. <laughs> I the got the first guy, one, baby. nothing. And I go to Nate. I'm like, hey, I need it now. Uh-huh. Nate's like, boom, you got it. Reroll, <laughs> then boom, fucking. I think it was like double six where I, Fox where I got stars. <laughs> boom. You got him for the fucking six, and then you had to hit him for the extra seven, which basically like from beginning click all the way to like near death. And I was like, boom. After that, he was salty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we left him alone. Like he was no longer a threat. Yeah, yeah but it's fun. Like when John was teaching me how to play, he taught me right. And the first game I won, and he's like, huh? Then he goes, okay, again. And then the second game, I won. The third one, he beat me and was like, oh, but I wanted to use the Necrons. He was using the Necrons. Uh, I was playing his other demon stuff. Mm. So I was like, nah, all right, let me play Necrons again. And I won again. He's like, you know what? You should go get your own army. <laughs> and he was showing me all these armies. And that's when I fell in love with the Harlequin mm-hmm. style. And I was like, okay, that's going to be for me. Mm-hmm. And then he told me how strong they are. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yes. And I, and I asked him one day, we were talking Warhammer, because he was, he was trying to get me into it. He's like, John, what can I play with the, with the Harley Quinns that's really good? Mm-hmm. That's around the time when fucking Triumphum came out. Yeah. I was like, all right, that's going to be like the only fucking money I spend on Warhammer. Because the Harley Quinns, we found them through trades and mm-hmm. whatever for cheap. Yeah, that box that just came out, the Harley Quinns yeah. versus the... The Death Mask box. Yeah. 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 And he told me, well, you need to triumph them because the Eldar kind of... Mixed with the Harlequins, mm-hmm. and he's like, but are they good? He's like, they're fucking overpowered. It's like, all right. Speaking of which, the Eldar Codex is out, or is it going to yeah, be coming out? It's out? It's, I believe it's out. I'll double check. We don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, we don't know what's going on. But I like, I like these lists, because they, they sound competitive. All those yeah. dice rolls and shit, it leaves you less of luck, and more of like, okay, there's so much, even if I get bad rolls, I'm still going to end up hitting something. And speaking of uh, the Anari... That is yeah, fourth place. Goes to the Inari. Um, he does not have the uh, the bodyguard dude. I forgot his name. Uh, oh, the the one with the big old yeah. fluff on his shoulder. Uh, he's using Evrain and the Incarn. Um, and then just a regular Farseer. And then the majority of it looks like it's uh, actually Eldar. Um, with a lot of wave serpents. 
So fifth place goes to Alpha Legion. We got them on the list again. Uh, Spartan okay. Berserkers, Spartan Berserker, Berserkers, one, two, three units of Cultists, a Sorcerer, uh, Chaos Lord with a Jump Pack, uh, Magnus the Red, the Changeling, uh, Malefic Lord, Malefic Lord, Malefic Lord, so we got more characters. So second and fifth place were Half Demons? Yeah. We're Fourth place was Elves? Yeah. Third place was Guns? Mm-hmm. And like Grey Knights Guardsmen. Yeah, yeah first, guardsmen, was what? first and third place was, was Guardsmen, basically. Alright, so just Guns and... Mm-hmm. And the OP characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Uh, yeah, and uh, Craft Worlds, uh, Codex Craft Worlds is out. Yes. So, so that's the Eldar. That's the Eldar. That's the Space Elves. Yes. Okay. Not the dark Space Elves, just regular Space Elves. The good guy Space Elves. The good guy. Yeah. I like the bad guys. Of course you do. Ah, they have a fucking pirate ship. And I was like, yes. Whatever. The thing is, they're like. I like what I like. But they're like, they're like sex deviants, and that I don't. That doesn't play on you. It yeah. doesn't, but they're pirates and uh, and they're the wizards. Six uh, pirates. I have, I have the and actual, pirates uh, are. Yeah. <laughs> I have the actual craft world uh, special rules here. Um, Lyandon can never lose more than one model for failed morale test. All units with damage charts count wounds as double when consulting the chart abilities. Ulthu, uh, Ulthu has a six up, uh, basically a total pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Tan has add one to leadership. All shuriken weapons reroll hits of one. Sam Hain has jet bikes reroll charge distances and ignores penalties for firing heavy weapons, which sounds a little broken. What uh, is this that you're reading? This is the special rules for each of the different craft worlds. Because just just like uh, Space Marines, the Eldar have legions. Oh, okay, so they have their own little... Yeah. yeah okay. And uh, um, LA Talk, uh, enemies have a minus one to hit outside of 12 inches. That, that's... Looks like every army is getting that that rule. So, so, so say someone that doesn't know Warhammer talk. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, <laughs> most things in the game are either hitting on a three or a four. Mm-hmm. So the fact that you're already getting a minus one, like the uh, the army that everybody's playing right now, the horde army with soldiers, they are only hitting on fives. Okay. Some of them hit on fours, but they're just regular humans with shitty human eyes, with shitty human yeah, yeah, guns. Yeah, just regular army. So they're hitting on fives. So if you're going up against somebody who has that special rule, after all, sixes to hit you. Mm. Yeah. So anything that that really impedes your opponent to uh, hit you is always a good thing. Like uh, the dark angels that I play, they have one unit that puts out a six-inch bubble that no uh, that you, whatever's shooting at them, they take a minus one penalty. So if they're hitting on uh, fours usually, they're going to hit on fives now. Okay. So things like that. And that stacks with if you're using a heavy weapon. If you move a heavy weapon, you already get a minus one anyways. And if you're shooting at anything that's six inches from that specific unit, then it becomes... It just makes it harder to kill Yeah. To All right, and way. I might be getting that mixed up. It might be for just that unit, but I think it actually puts out a ball. Sounds no, annoying. It's not a ball. Okay, so it's perfect. Sounds annoying. It sounds fun. It is yeah. annoying. It is fun. Does uh, Eldar have pretty good fluff, like story-wise? Um, Eldar basically ruled the entire galaxy at one point in time, but then because there was nobody left to oppose them, they kind of went the way of the Romans and just started getting fat and eating too much and fucking a lot. They banged a lot. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. that, that's they, where your they, dark Eldar yeah. come from. so much. They created a sex god from their sexual energy. Oh, well, that's what you were telling me. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Does he have tentacles? Yes. Yeah. He has tentacles for days. And boobies. And boobies. Yeah, um, it's not really a he or she. It's, it's a thing. It's a sex thing. It, it's got both working parts, apparently. No, Many sure. of both it's working It's its own parts. sex thing. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> so, yeah. That was uh, Koldar, uh, what? Codex uh, Craft Worlds. That was a tournament listing. Soul Cal. Uh, then we have Shade Spire. Shade Spire, but we have one other big story, and the last big story is GW actually has a partnership now with speaking with, of Heroes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, you were okay. So apparently they have signed a deal. I think this was announced Saturday last week. Yeah, I think about I, last I, week. I, was it last week? Yeah, I, I it was Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday. Okay, usually Saturday because that's when they release new things. It's probably when they put out a, a thing mm-hmm. about it. Uh, but basically, uh, WizKids, who does uh, the uh, Hero Clicks as well as some other games, some uh, Dice Master games, mm-hmm. they have now signed a deal with GW saying that they have uh, they can use their license. 
So what does that actually mean? Mark, you had some ideas? It means that either we're going to be getting some space marines that are shittily sculpted, mm -hmm. but they're painted, pre -painted. But, but pre painted, mm -hmm. or we're going to get some uh, basically, I guess, GW shit. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my idea um, for what's probably going to happen is you're going to end up with a uh, 40k dice game. Which okay, like the dice master. which yeah, makes you're, you're which have, makes way more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have cards that you know have like a space marine faction or something on it, and then your dice with your different weapons and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you're basically just it'll be a, it'll be a one v one, possibly like a group thing where you can get three people in on it, mm -hmm. and it'll it's probably gonna be just a quicker way to play Warhammer for when you don't have the two hours to play a game. Okay. Because yeah. Dice Master is a fa is a fast paced game. Yeah. I played yeah. for a little bit. It's kind of like Magic, but dice okay is there a chance that there might be a warhammer hero click that's what i might be i thinking. far end i seriously i, so. I, see, I all, seriously I mean, doubt it we already have models why make more models because oh okay, well well that's true you're you're, you're you're saying that like people don't just buy models to buy models. yeah i play i played hero clicks and exactly i don't know or i think already like the the Warhammer community already kind of looks down at Hero Clicks. They do, yeah. but what would this would be a perfect kind of thing to introduce them to introduce them to a different style of game, and that really, honestly, truly has no barriers, because you're got already War, uh, Hero Clicks has a map that they give you. Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. Does it matter? It's they give you a map. They already have little tokens that the terrains already that, on uh, there. Terrains already on there. You can use the hero click rules, which aren't bad. Uh, well, I don't yeah. know now. I don't know. I've heard. Uh, I haven't. I haven't played in like a few years. Yeah. Again, but I heard they. They did a I've whole heard, re. They did thing, a whole right? rethink. Like remember when you didn't have a range? You had like a ten range. We yeah. used to fucking blast Constantine yeah. all the time. That range is now reduced significantly. It's been super streamlined to mm -hmm. make it real easier. Mm -hmm. So people I've played with before yeah. say that it's just too dumbed down. A lot of the rules have just been so nerfed. Mm -hmm. It's just like so every they got eighth edition. So <laughs> yeah. the hard, hard, well, see, they hard, but good. it seems like everybody. There's no one's overpowered now. Like everything just got nerfed super hard. Okay. What is, what is like, like just in like rules like, in uh, general. So, but but the, the cool thing about that is that you can have a, a game that's like Warhammer that has no barriers. But you can what, add other characters. But you life. can have other characters. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing is, are they going to be extremely good models if WizKids actually does it? No. No, they will not But be. they will be painted. But they will be painted. In so that's mode. that's already one thing. Well, in fairness, and, their, their models now are getting a lot better than Warhammer. Are they, are, are the, They're are a little the, better. They're okay. a little better. But it just sounds like they're going to build an army for the competitive people. You want to grab an army and, and actually play a tournament? Mm -hmm. You could do that. Because WizKids are going to give you an army of crappy made I, yeah. characters, but it's ready to go. But there's also another thing. WizKids has a very, very, very good tournament scene. They do for the Hero Clicks so, world yeah. and shit? They, they have they a really do. good tournament scene. That, that, that cannot be denied. So maybe what they're doing is this is a license thing where they can actually make a, a more tournament that they, they that gw can actually have tournaments with oh, with yeah. with, with using, kids or the licensing to get the tournament running or another thing that i would like is that they bring back the rpgs that they used to have mm -hmm. and they just make the little models like uh just like they do for D D, where they have little models oh, okay they'll yeah. just be painted already and you can have like a little warhammer that would uh, be D &D. straight storyline right yeah that would be straight storyline uh but I mean, that's the thing is we're talking about so many possibilities of what it could be. So that means hopefully it's something good. What do you guys want it to be? I want the Dice Masters. I would probably, I'm, I would like a hero click, but I mean, I don't really play hero clicks that mm -hmm. much anymore. Um, the Dice Master would probably be the, the most reasonable thing mm. that they're going to probably do. What about you, Roman? I would want the D&D &D style the because D &D. That, that was... That whole line was discontinued when um, FFG lost the contract with uh, GW. So mm -hmm. I would want to see something like that return. And if you can have little models that kind of represent you in like this big space Hulk, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Me as a coming in new player, dude, I would love it if they just sell ready armies. Like, I don't care how they look, but I could go and pick up an army, buy it. Don't have to do nothing to it and go and pick up a game with anybody from Red Star. Or with John and shit, mm -hmm. and be at the level where they're at. Because mm -hmm. you guys have been playing, been playing longer, yeah. So you already have your prime marks and you have a shit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know much, so you know. <laughs> yeah. I would like to just go and say, 
60 books. Yeah. But you get a whole army already done. Yeah. And you you should buy a starter box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With the starter box, you have to build and paint well, on one bed. It's part of the hobby. I'm doing that for you. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Okay, but wouldn't it be cool to get how that's how you get new players? Yeah. So basically, you want Hero Clicks then? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you could have just said that. Boom. <laughs> Done. Uh, guys, 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 before before we sign out, yes. Mark. Fulgrim's coming out. I'm just fucking with <laughs> Mark, Mark, what did you bring for us today? Oh, I'm doing this then? Okay. Uh, so for Grimworks, we are doing. A little giveaway, which is a easy to build Primarius, Primaris uh, intercessor, intercessor, primaris there. intercessor squad, and it's, it's the, the three pack. Yeah, it's the little three pack yep. ones, the little three pack guys. You get you get to click them together. Mm-hmm. But this is our gift to you for actually going through this whole terrible podcast experience. <laughs> you think this is bad? You haven't heard City yet. Yeah. Oh man, oh, man that's a fucking train wreck. I hope you listen to City podcast. I want you to, <laughs> but I understand if you don't. <laughs> So this is, a, this is a little giveaway that we want to start with. Um, so if you want to enter into that, we would like to ask you to like and comment right down below. I don't know. Ask them what are, what are, what? They, what are y'all playing right now? Or, yeah, yeah the, think... the, comment, the comment can be anything. Uh, literally, you can just type in uh, intercessor giveaway if that's, that's all you want to do. If you want simple, to be lazy plain about and simple. It. Yeah. Um, let us know what we're doing good. If you want to, let us know what you're doing bad. If you want to, we welcome all feedback, negative or positive. Uh, let us know what you're playing in the game, whether you're playing 40K, Age of Sigmar, 30K. Uh, let us know what you like and don't like about what's going on in the Warhammer world right now. Well, you could ask, let us know what you want from Quiz Kids. Let us know what you want from Quiz Kids. Yeah. Dice Masters. Dice Masters. <laughs> but you have we'll to, see. was it like, subscribe, like, yeah. and, and comment? comment? Well, yes. we would hope they already subscribed. But if y'all haven't, subscribe. Like, yeah. like, and comment, and then to further your chances, we are going to be doing another video that will be coming out probably in a few days, mm-hmm. maybe at the end of the week. Yeah, the it's... Warhammer One Hundred and One mm-hmm. uh, for people who are just starting out and they want to learn how to base and prime and do all the fun stuff. In all the, basic the way. as yeah. as as John would say, hobbying. Yes, oh, yes. that could be a thing. Well, that can't be called grip. <laughs> no. All right, no, I see it. No, but no, no, also, no, no. to increase that chance, just uh, like, subscribe, on, like, and comment on that as well. You know, yeah. whatever they ask in that question. That's Warhammer 101. Yeah. So what you guys have to do is just, you know, go to our Warhammer videos, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and comment, yeah. whatever you want. You can, yeah. say, you can say my voice. Oh, if you're listening to us on other platforms, I don't know if you are, um, but this is specifically for YouTube. So you'll want to go to our YouTube channel. Just uh, type in Grimworks. That's G-R-I-M-M. Space, W O R K S, and you can go ahead and uh, again subscribe. That's a big thing for us. And like, comment this this uh, video as well as the one that'll be coming out for Hammer One Hundred One, uh, priming and basing. We should but, give them what like what two weeks before we give them. Yeah, the yeah. Most likely we'll be announcing our winner. Uh, early November. Early November. We'll, we'll say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to give a definite date. Just yet, because we're still trying to figure out a schedule for some of this stuff. Yeah, uh, but I'm saying just wait for that in detail for on our uh, on our social media. There you go. Yeah, you want to go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Grimworks, uh, Instagram, Grimworks, uh, Twitter, Grimworks. So and, and everything there. Just search us. They might be a little bit different, you know, from social media, to social media, but they are going to be the same. And if you don't like playing. You know, all these stupid little games that we play with our little miniatures. And you like playing real man video games, right? <laughs> video games like fucking Destiny or fucking Paragon. You know, but there's more video games too. That's there true. are, but they're mostly on PC and this does not apply. All right, so if you want to get a little bit better, because right now, I'll be honest, this room's a little hot. My hands are sweaty. This would be terrible for video game playing. But what I do have on my controller is some little joysticks, you know what I mean? And I have some little... Uh, the grippy grips on there and if you want to get some of those go ahead and go to fadegrips.store and put in our promotional code grimworks that's capital g-r-i-m-m-w-o-r-k-s and you get 20 percent off now for me guys guys these things are awesome all right they have a whole fucking condom you can put on your whole controller so your sweaty fat hands don't slip because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they look pretty pretty colors yeah i don't care i just my hands don't slip <laughs> <laughs> i'm not looking at my control my mm-hmm. hand doesn't slip mm-hmm I still suck, so now I don't have the excuse of my hand not slipping. But not wrong. My hand doesn't slip. Yeah, and for me, uh, what I usually do is just because 
I'm okay with the actual control. It's just the joysticks because I need a little more grip there. I need a little more precision, especially if I'm sniping on Destiny 2. Um, I use the Pro Grips. So my favorite thing to get there is just $10. Just a little $10. Minus your 20%. Minus 20%, but $10. You can get the uh, Pro Slash uh, Glow Mystery Box. You get four pairs, uh, two of each. Uh, you don't know which colors, but to be honest with you, I liked all the colors. They were all good. So go ahead and get that and use our promotional code Grimworks, capital G-R-I-M-M-W-O-R-K-S. Get 20% off. That's a little off there. It's a little bit off of shipping. You're good to go. So with uh, that one said. Last, one last thing. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Tony are working on building ourselves a uh, gaming table and some terrain so we can play here at the house in our workshop where we record all these videos and podcasts mm -hmm. so we can bring y'all some bat reps. Yeah. yeah it's be coming soon. Bop, bop, bop. So and how ma easy maybe you can get your arm together, Mark. Maybe you can play a game finally. Hey, maybe I got a few guys ready. All right. Next thing I'm gonna work on is getting uh, that razor back up and up and running. There you go. Yeah, I gotta love them right back. This table is filled with the spectrums of all Warhammer. You mm -hmm. got, he like Mark likes the hobby stuff. Yes. He doesn't really care. He doesn't get a game in. Mm -hmm. But time to paint and shit, he loves. Mm -hmm. You guys like the fluff. Yes. You like the character development and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck for none of that. Mm -hmm. I like competitive side mm -hmm. I want my army to beat your army mm -hmm. and I want to use my brain to do it mm -hmm. or just you know all my magic like I did last time that was fucking fun but you see this is like, this is why it's, it sounds like a pretty decent yeah. uh, way of getting all sorts I'm of just saying moves. why does every unit in the army have to have soul bursts that's fucking bullshit <laughs> it's fun <laughs> yeah soul burst is kind of a fucking broken thing but if you want to be part of the conversation again like and comments in this video below or you can send us an email at citypod88 at gmail.com and in the title you can go ahead and put 40k just like trent hackenberry did oh that's right trent, so, trent, trent had a little bit of a ps on one of our city oh, episodes right. but again trent's a big fan you should be a big fan of us too listen to everything we got but what he says is it says in the last episode of pairs of the warp you chumps didn't know what raw meant Runs as written. You often hear this term come in gaming, especially in 40k, when compared to rules as intended. Learn y'all shit. <laughs> All right, fucking Trent Hackenberry, you son of a bitch. You want to fucking come at me, you motherfucker? I want you here next fucking episode, unless you're a fucking bitch. All right? I want you fucking here, and I want you to talk Warhammer was. Fuck off, Tony. I'm fucking talking. All right. I want you fucking here. I don't give a fuck what you want to talk about, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm blowing out eardrums. I don't give a shit. Roman, Roman, you're being a little aggressive here. You're being a little aggressive. Trent, Trent, I love you. Trent, why didn't you come back? Did I scare you? I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to touch you like that. I come back, Trent. You guys want to know what John's talking about? You guys got to listen to the City Podcast. You got to listen to our anniversary episode. Yeah, you do. So episode 52 of City Podcast. You know what we're talking about. All right, I've said it myself, and I apologize, Trent. I just want you here to talk 40k with us. Because apparently you know more than all of us, real quick, and I want you to quick. I want you to do that. Uh, we do have this thing where if you guys want to challenge Roman and John in the game, we're working on a whole prize support thing. You guys beat them, you get something small. But if they win, oh, you had to you had to whore us out in your social media mm -hmm. and your friends. So if you guys, anybody listening, Red Star or just fuck a Warhammer community, fight me, bitch. There you go. Uh, I'm not as aggro as John when it comes to actual uh, so, 40k. So if you want the easy win, now you're not aggro. So, so if you just want to win, you know, you want that easy W. Yeah, you want that easy W. Go ahead and challenge me. If you want, maybe to somebody put up a fight, it'll be John. But I I'm just saying, I got 80 fucking conscripts just waiting for you. All I'm saying is I got dark angels. They get shit on a lot, so. Yeah. Maybe you should play that army. <laughs> Thought you were doing Blood Angels too. I do, but they're not painted up, baby. They're not painted mm -hmm. up. They're, they're on the back burner because I got to get this guy's army up to see. I did get. I did order stencils this week, so they should be coming in hopefully this week, if not the following week. And I'll start uh, doing some airbrushing, making sure your army is good. Or you could guys challenge Mark and you know play like sometime next year. No, that's the easiest <laughs> W. Oh uh, yeah, you can play Mark and you can you didn't have to challenge for 40k, just fucking rock paper scissors or something. Yeah, guys, <laughs> you know you don't have to challenge just to 
40k, you can challenge us to Street Fighter, to uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, mm -hmm. to uh, fucking Thumb Wrestling, I don't care. But yeah. mostly, mostly for this podcast, we mm -hmm. wanted to get some more hammer challenges. Still, nope. still gotta do that Eric, Eric me uh, Smash Brothers deal. Yes, you do. We do that now. <laughs> that is something that we yeah. have to definitely get up. But, I want to say thank you for listening to this episode, and hopefully you'll join us next time. My name is Roman. My name is John. Mork. And thank you for letting me be on the podcast. I'm Tony. All right. <laughs> what was it? Chaplain Fadius Labius. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Rock from, from Grimworks. Yeah. I'm Rock. Resident Orphan Tony. Yeah, I'm not going to let that pass, baby. Come on. You know you know the, the deal. We don't actually have a uh, an actual sign-off for this show, I've noticed. Okay, well, bye. But well, of all the fluff and all the stuff in Warhammer, none of them like, have a, like, a goodbye or a sign-off. The Emperor protects. Yeah. So there you go. End it like that. Or death to the false emperor. I'm alright with that too. Yeah, I don't like that. It sounds gay. Chaos. Death to the false emperor! Chaos is kind of lame, to be honest with chaos you. Chaos is awesome. The only good chaos army is Slanesh. So I'm going to say tentacle porn out.